Hello, how are you? I am under the water. What? Me and my friend did this trend. Who is the oldest? Who has the most Robux? Who is the meanest? Who is the funniest? Is better at editing. One thing about me, I'm the baddest alive. He know the pretty is me and my friend. Here is why you shouldn't go shopping. When you go shopping, meet sucky sucky now, mommy. Mommy's milk. Roblox voice chat is now free. Yes, you had that right. You can now enable Roblox voice chat for free. So Roblox released a press statement talking about this as it's part of their metaverse plan. But based Kalau <laughs> When I was like 10 years old, there was a box of maxi pads in the bathroom and I said, Mom, what are these? And she said, you put them in your underwear. So the next morning before school, I put one in my underwear, adhesive side up, and went to school and it was really uncomfortable. And then I went to the bathroom to try to peel it off and that adhesive is really strong. And I was in there a long time and then the teacher came in and said, Kevin, are you okay? And I said, yes. And then I thought, maybe if I get it wet, it'll peel off easier. So I went over to the sink, and then the teacher came back in, and she just froze. I could tell she couldn't quite comprehend what she was looking at. And she just turned around and looked. When I was like 10 years old. <laughs> Listen to me now. This scary Roblox item can kill you. Okay, son, you say you got the report card. So for math, I got an A. I don't need no light to see you. Pity. Shine. It's your golden hour. I don't need no light to see you shine. It's your golden eye. I don't need no light to see you shine. It's your golden eye I don't need no light to see you shine It's you
sure. You can't tell me how. To... Man, where is this nigga at, man? Mm -hmm. told... Excuse me. Do you speak English by any chance? No. There was a beautiful scene in the. Excuse me. Do you speak English by any chance? No. No. Bruh. Sorry, it's a joke. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I speak sorry. English. You speak English? Well, my name is Keen. I'm a photographer, and I want to ask if I could take a picture. You yeah, look amazing Thank and you. fashionable. Yeah, of course. Okay. Cool. Let's uh. Here. Yeah, right here is perfect. Just look right at me. Okay, I didn't even have to tell you anything. You know exactly how to pose. Oh, you know, I'm a ballerina. I want to do a better pose here. You're okay? a ballerina? Yeah. Where do you want to do it? Here. Right here? Okay. Move back. Get on the yellow line. Did you say one, two, three? One, two, three. Nice. Look at me when you do it. Okay. Casually, yep. <laughs> you gotta check this out. Let's get off the street. What do you think? So good. So good? So good. Excuse me? Do you speak English? There was a beautiful scene in the crowd of this soccer game. This is Penelope and she is in desperate need of a shear. Those mats are the depth of my hand. And by mats, I mean one big one. This sheep came from the Houston SPCA. She was found wandering the streets of downtown Houston with a potbelly pig. They now live together at their forever home, where her owners tried to shear her but were unsuccessful. It was impossible to find an entry point, so I tried my best to push through the mats with sheer force. Get it, sheer force. After I broke this loose, I had to pay close attention to try not to nick her. These mats are extremely heavy and close to her skin. Mats like this pull on the skin and cause a tension wrinkle which are super easy to nick. Unfortunately, I was not able to get all of these off with no nicks, but I know that those little cuts are way better than her overheating in this massive blanket. By the time we were done, I was so surprised she was so calm the entire time. And when I let her go, she almost had to catch her breath for a minute. I let her take her time as I go check out that fleece. It's extremely heavy and super thick. Imagine feeling the breeze on your skin for the first time in years. This friendly creature is a beluga whale, and they are not only incredibly beautiful creatures, but also very intelligent. These arctic whales are known for the distinctive rounded structure on the top of their forehead, called melon. It's made up of lipids and is incredibly flexible, making it very squishy to the touch. The melon not only makes them cute, but it also serves as an important tool for the whale. It helps them make thunderous noises, such as clicking and whistling, which they use to communicate and even hunt. While hunting, these echolocation clicks bounce back off their prey and provide an audible view of their target. They're also known for their playful behavior and can often be seen playing catch with each other or even playing with buckets that are dropped off the sides of boats. They have a great sense of curiosity as well and will often swim up to boats or even humans in the water. Beluga whales are not only a pleasure to observe, but an incredible reminder that our planet's oceans are full of amazing, intelligent creatures. Would you rather have a thousand dollars in cash right now or give ten thousand dollars to someone random in the store? Oh my god, I want to be myself. Well, Are there you, you go. Serious? Yes, no? I'm about to have a heart attack. Thank yeah, you. no problem. Have a good day. Would you rather? How much of a by the way, all the glaciers society. are fresh water. A few years before this young girl named Deb. You know, man, Merry Christmas. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm good. Is there anything I could do to help you guys out? Just help us get our van out. <laughs> like, Where's your van? Um, it got towed yesterday. We How much is it to get it out? Four nineteen twenty-six or something. Okay. And our cats are stuck. What's harder, breaking ten pencils, or breaking every bone in my body because it's already broken? Ah! Uh! See, you can't even tell. What's harder, breaking ten pencils? Or breaking every bone in my body because it's already broken. Tower of hell, but if I fall, my mom will do a voice reveal. I'm per This is our dad seeing color for the first time. This is how he sees a sunset versus how we see a sunset. For the past few months, we've been trying to find a way to fix his color blindness, and after a ton of research and money, we finally got the right glasses to help him see color for the first time. That subscribe button is so red. Now hit that subscribe button.
This is our dad seeing color for the first time. This is how he sees a sunset versus how we see a sunset. For the past few months, we've been trying to find a way to fix his color blindness, and after a ton of research and